think I'm very honored to have this kind of opportunity to talk about our recent uh, activities about 4D printing. So here the title is 4D printed soft matter robotics and including some topics around several materials, fabrications, and uh, its applications. Okay, uh, I'd like to uh, see you the, our location of our university. I and Ajit now are in Yamagata city, Yamagata prefecture. It will be a little bit uh, far from Tokyo area, but uh, only it, it will take only two hours trip by direct train from Tokyo station. Little bit convenient from Tokyo. And we have many centers on some uh, organic materials and research is something. And also Yamagata is a little bit famous city for tourism. Uh, we have much snow in winter season and we have many good, very uh, beautiful foods, foods, sake, and we have very traditional fabrication in this area. So if after this kind of COVID-19, please come here and we I like to invite you here. So today, I like to start from this one. So in 2011, so we have developed the 3D printing system, new type of system for hydrogel. So we are focusing on this type of very soft material, but there is several uh, difficulty to fabricate the very soft material. Uh, then we developed the 3D printing techniques for such soft hydrogels. Why we focus on hydrogels? So, you know, in Japan, oh, could you hear this sound? Okay, this is a movie uh, on something about the hydrogels, so gels having 90% of water inside, then it will be very transparent. And, you know, this is a conventional type of gel, usually very brittle. A newer type is very, very strong. Uh, cannot uh, break by breaking by this type of uh, compression test. So and uh, these stronger gels can survive under much uh, deformations. This type of large deformation, but this gel can survive. So this gel is uh, developed in uh, 2003. Uh, it will be uh, about 20 years back, but still this is a very uh, unique materials for uh, making new devices, I see, I think. So this gel made by the uh, hybrid of two different type of polymer gels. One is a uh, uh, pump, is a uh, uh, electrolyte gel. This is little bit rigid, but very brittle. Then in this case, we introduce another very ductile type of soft polymer pumps, uh, PMM, PAM, polyacrylamide. Then if we combine two different uh, type of uh, polymers in one gel, then we can achieve the very much uh, bigger fracture energy than before. So then we can use the, and we want to describe the, this uh, unique uh, function of strong hydrogels. You know, uh, this gel can achieve a very uh, um, uh, good toughness and also uh, having very low frictional coefficient around the, uh, 10 to the minus fours. It means that only one centimeters of the gel seed can, uh, can have a uh, real turn in 400 kilogram weight and it will become more by only for 40 gram force. Uh, this situation is related and uh, it corresponds to the, our knee joint cartridge. 
So this is a movie to describe the uh, function of uh, strong gels. You know, usually, uh, uh, can cannot be moved by pushing, but if we can use uh, this uh, strong soft gel, then easy to move, but very slippy because th this floor is covered by water. Water is very important to make such a very low friction uh, properties of hydrogen. So uh, our team getting some national project. And so based on such a uh, uh, big project, now we uh, made the a commercial, commercial type of 3D printers for strong gels. And this printer can print this little bit bigger size of gels. And we sometimes we can make the finger models and some uh, smaller type for the interocular lens. And sometimes we can make this type of cylinders on flat surface that will be good for the maybe cell cultivation. Like that. So now we are focusing on the 4D printing. Uh, this 3D printer can make such a shape memory gel, shape, shape memory gel having some, some type of such a thermal responsibilities. We, if we can make the two different shape memory gels in this kind of flower shape, sometimes we can make such a automatically uh, motion, automatic, automatic motion uh, induced by only temperature change of water. So we can make such as this type of smart gripper without electric motors. And then uh, this gel can go back to the original shape by changing the temperatures. So this is a very simple technique. We use a two different hydrogels having two different uh, uh, responsible temperatures. Uh, once put into the 3D printed at uh, this type of bilayer structure into the waters. So outer part in swells in falling in water, then we can make such a bending. Uh, after that, if we can heat this, heat it, and then uh, inside part is also can swell in, swell in, be swollen in hot water, then we can make such a, a original uh, straight shape. And if we go back to in this uh, room temperature in air, and this gel go back to the original length, then we can in, they, they reproduce this, this uh, process again and again. Uh, very simple uh, experiment, we print it, this virus structure and put into the water then can bend. And also we can grip some, some items in water and if we, we can move it to, or to the outside and also go back into the uh, hot water then we can uh, release again. So there is another approach. Uh, sometimes uh, gel is very uh, brittle and if, uh, this edible gel is also very brittle, then sometimes we can make such a block type 3D printers. So that is a very uh, simple approach. Uh, uh, sometimes we use this type of approach for the education. So this project uh, uh, is done by the bachelor third student in such kind of project-based learning so student try to use this type of very uh, uh, for, uh, low cost type of the, uh, robot hands and to then try to make such a cubic uh, edible gels and also special attachment for the robots. Then we can uh, treat the very soft hydrogels to make such, uh, you know, uh, cherry. Uh, this kind of fruits is very uh, popular in Yamagata. So students sometimes want try to make this type of artificial food by 3D printing. 
So we show that this jump to the uh, mayor of the Yamagata prefecture, she enjoyed very much. So then we recognize that uh, making the uh, uh, food shape by pubic is also getting very good uh, attractive activities, events. So we, we try to make this type of uh, some new movies on this type of concept with uh, uh, some type of advertising companies. So they uh, successfully made a very attractive movie, maybe sometimes sushi, in sushi restaurants, we can scan the actual sushi uh, by some type of very new techniques and we can uh, how to change this shape to the cubic front and then we can trans transport by electric <laughs> A, a transformation, then then we can uh, make it by 3D printing in uh, spaceships, then we can enjoy the sushi also in such a, a space trip in future. <laughs> okay. So we try to move this type of event to the South by Southwest in 2018. We get, get very uh, good achievement for the 3D printing of uh, hydrogels. And then we could, we recognize uh, many uh, 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 colleagues in the companies also getting some uh, be interested in this type of three D printed uh, technology. Then uh, we I and Ajit try to make such a new co consortium on three D printing. Ayawalaka means the soft and very gentle materials, and then we can make name it this consortium. Uh, Yabaraka 3D, Soft 3D Co-Creation Consortium. Then we uh, focus on the how to use the new materials, including edible foods and the smart materials. And we combine this type of new materials to the body printing machines. Then, uh, then we can, how say, accelerate this type of approach from the material side to the uh, making some new uh, uh, product and we want to find such a, a applicability of this product with such a camp, uh, colleagues in companies there. So now our, our consortium uh, just started new program uh, named Gel Pipers. Gel Piper means uh, we try to make such a new uh, pipelines. So 3D gel printer can make such uh, many uh, various uh, products uh, from the uh, shared uh, 3D print, 3D data in cloud. So sometimes someone we want to make a food sample for the robot picking uh, experiments. And sometimes we want to make such uh, medical uh, models for surgery training. Sometimes we can make such a robot hand in by 3D printing. And also sometimes we can use this technique for the uh, art activities. So now we are making this standard model of little bit tiny type of 340 uh, uh, hydrogen printers. And this model can provide the ear model and nose model. And sometimes we can make such a, this type of lattice shape and uh, having such a hollow, hollow structures. That will be very important. And uh, for example, we printed uh, such a uh, uh, jellyfish-like uh, structures by 3D printing ones. So we we show this uh, 3D printed uh, soft jellyfish to the, some company. That company tried to start a new business, or oh, they made such this uh, movie for the getting crowdfunding. So. Uh, uh, we uh, introduced a commercialized uh, water vessel for the uh, planting, planting of jellyfish uh, by using this uh, uh, water vessel for the artificial 3D printed hydrogels. So this is, uh, you know, uh, artificial hydrogels, but if we can uh, modeling the real shape of uh, living animals, uh, then we can making the very natural motions 
likes the swimming jellyfish like that. So we successfully getting uh, start new new business in uh, 3D printed gels. So now we are focusing on how to improve the, this system. So sometimes uh, 4D printed, 3D printed can make such many, uh, we can repeat the making new jellyfish again and again. Then we can sometimes we can use a such kind of deep learning technique to uh, let uh, uh, analyze such uh, how the uh, jellyfish can swim the well. Then sometimes uh, in future, uh, addicts can working on the making new sensors. Uh, sometimes uh, this new uh, jellyfish robot can recognize uh, such. Uh, uh, for the contents of temperature and uh, such a light signals, uh, magnetic stimulus like that. Then sometimes we can uh, print it some different type of materials and sometimes uh, outer side and recognize the uh, light irradiation and the inner side it sometimes, sometimes recognize the temperature change. Then we can uh, introduce many smart different materials and maybe sometime this AI designer can make such a, a very uh, optimized printed process uh, by uh, this, this system can learn such a very more uh, optimized 4D printing uh, process um, based on machine learning like that. Okay, and then we try to introduce another uh, uh, function like therapy or relaxation and something. So then we try to use this technique on for the diff different lava like materials to make such a robot. And this, this dog is a little bit famous uh, named Hachi. And uh, Hachi is uh, having very long stories. Uh, this dog is very, was very smart and, and uh, he, uh, was waiting his master in the uh, front of Sibiya station. Uh, then uh, Sibiya uh, citizens uh, teams asked us to do uh, how say copy the soft type of dog robot. <laughs> then we can try to make very soft touch. Then uh, very solid type touch you change to the softer one then uh, people can enjoy the touching and deforming the soft, soft uh, uh, robot. That is a newer type of techno uh, trials to getting some uh, relaxation and the soft touch and we can enjoy the, let's say, this, uh, this robot uh, does not uh, move, but we can move by our hand. And then uh, we try to uh, you, uh, uh, bring brought our new new robot for the uh, this event for the uh, focusing on diversity. So many uh, handicapped uh, persons are, are coming this kind of event to uh, house a try to use a new type of technology for the uh, handicapped persons. These blind uh, guys for enjoy to fuse a new new uh, soft robot and sometimes the soft robot cause very unique uh, function to get many persons and try to start the communication. And then uh, sometimes this uh, soft love, soft, type of robot can. Uh, my colleague, Professor Ogawa, tried to make such an emotional model on uh, AI system. And uh, this dog can feel the touchness and can hear the sound of uh, audience. Then uh, he changed the color in necklace. And then uh, and sometimes this dog can uh, make voice. And then uh, we can enjoy to, uh, uh, how say, we recognize how to use this type of soft robot 
by 3D by made by 3D printing futures. Okay, that is my talk, and uh, I am uh, uh, interested again about the uh, uh, Yamagata Prefecture. Uh, if you can have the, some opportunity, please uh, come to uh, Yamagata. See you. Thank you very much. <laughs>